everyone, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. I bring you greetings from Pivot Church. Uh, I am grateful uh, that God has called us uh, together once again. And uh, I'm asking that you would please share, uh, please share so that we can uh, enjoy this time together. Um, please, please share. Uh, I uh, am grateful that God has brought us together one more time. And if you can hear me, uh, please, please let me know if you can hear me. Uh, please let me know if you can hear me okay. Hey, Sister Bagley, Sister Lewis, uh, Sister Vaughn, Sister Pope, Sister Hughes. Hey, Patrick, good to have you in the house. Hey, Amen. Uh, Sister Flowers, Marsha, good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. I'm trying to get centered on here, if, if that would work. Let's see. Thank you so much. Grateful for our media team being in the house, making sure that we are good to go. Um, grateful for their uh, doing them doing what they do. Uh, as as you may have seen already, we are broadcasting virtually only, virtually only for the month of January uh, because we have had uh, some of our people in our fellowship uh, test positive for COVID. And so as a result, uh, we will be limiting our contact, uh, the number of contacts here in the physical space. So we will only be doing worship at 8.30 on Sunday mornings only 8.30 on Sunday mornings, uh, we will meet in the physical space. We have been uh, taking temperatures as uh, people have been arriving. Uh, we will continue to do that. We have been uh, doing uh, sanitizing um, and making sure everything is clean and sanitary upon your arrival. We will continue to do that. Uh, we have been exercising spacing. We will continue to do that. We are in our new space, and so we will be spreading out just a little bit more for those of you that want to continue to come in person on Sundays. Thursdays will be Thursdays will be virtually only. As of right now, it will only be for the month of January. Uh, we will see after January concludes what our next steps will be. Uh, Saturdays have been are, are being put on pause, and we thank you. We thank you. We know that you want to be in the physical space, but we have a responsibility and obligation to make sure that you are safe, that you are uh, taking care of yourself, and we want to look out for the well-being of others uh, in the worship space as well. Uh, scripture calls us to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. And so we want to be able to do that. I am grateful uh, that God has given us wisdom and we want to listen to uh, the science as well. Uh, outside of that, we also want to make sure that you take advantage of vaccinations. Uh, wherever you may be, vaccinations need to be uh, in place for you. We are not requiring it to worship with us, but we do strongly recommend, it is my stance, uh, that you uh, be vaccinated uh, to get you that extra layer of covering. Uh, not only that, but we also want to make sure that if you have or are experiencing symptoms of COVID or flu, anything in that nature, um, and, and if you're tested positive, uh, 
please join us virtually on Sundays. And if you do test positive, we understand the COVID uh, guidelines now from the CDC are that you quarantine for at least five days. Uh, we're going to ask that you do that as well as sit out at least one Sunday. Um, just one Sunday after testing positive and we we want we want you here trust me I'm trying my best not to cancel in-person services so that you could be here uh, but please please I don't want to put you at risk uh, hey brother Kelly good to see you uh, sister Roberts good to see you come on share it with me so good to see you and so I'm praying for all of you who are COVID positive, as well as those of you who are not COVID positive, but you've had it, you know what others are going through, and perhaps those of you that never had it. Uh, I am one that has never tested positive for COVID, and so uh, let us continue to keep others in prayer. Uh, so uh, tonight, tonight, I'm not doing Bible study. Tonight, we're going to be doing something different because there is such a, a, a chaotic situation in our country now surrounding COVID and other situations that are taking place. We want to do just some praying tonight. We want to do some praying. And here's what I want to do. I have my phone on and right now in the chat, in the chat, if you would, I want to pray with you. Come on, let's get active in the chat. If you want to put your prayer request in, in the chat, uh, please come on put it in here I want to lift you up we all want to be praying together uh, so if you would come on put your put your requests in the chat there uh, if you just want you you to be prayed for you don't want to put it out there and list it uh, just come on just put your name in the chat there I'm watching it right now come on uh, uh, help me here if you would let I'm watching it if you want a prayer tonight Come on, put it in the chat. Amen. I see you, Sister Greer. Come on, anyone else? Come on, participate with me here. We're going to do a collaboration of praying. Uh, I'm going to read some scriptures. I see you, Sister Robert. Amen. Praying for you. We're going to touch and agree tonight. Amen. I see you, Sister Pope. Amen. I see you. Come on, somebody else. Anybody else need praying? If you know anybody you want to stand in the gap for, come on, you can put their name in the chat. Amen. I got you. I got you. Uh, Sister Linda there. Amen. Good to see. Amen. Beulah Church, come on in. Pastor Kirk from Louisiana. Good to see you. I see you. Sister Bagley. Come on, put your prayer requests in the chat here. We're going to pray tonight. Amen. Good evening, Sister Washington. Kendra Washington, good to see you. Come on, Sister Bagley, I see your children. Come on, anybody else? Uh, we're going to be praying for Naya, Zay, amen, Linda, amen. Anybody else? Pray for me and my niece. I see you, Sister Lewis. We're going to do that. We're going to lift these prayer requests. Joseph Greer, all right, come on. That's it. Stand in the gap for somebody tonight. Amen. Come on. The Bible says that the prayer of the effectual and the fervent will avail much. Come on. Anybody else need prayer? Come on. Just, just put them in there. It doesn't matter what it is. We're going to stand in the gap and we're going to cover some people tonight. We're going to cover some problems. Amen. I agree with you. We're going to pray for our city, city of Dallas. We're going to cover every, everything, whether it's the north, the south, east, and the west. Amen. Whether it's Oak Cliff or the Grove. Amen. Whether it's Addison, we're going to cover the whole city. Amen. We're going to cover Sister Proctor. God bless you. We're going to pray for Kendra Washington and her family. Amen. We're going to cover Rodney Greer. We're going to, come on, I'm calling these names out. And while, while these names are scrolling across the screen, we want to be in prayer. Come on, President Biden. We're going to cover him. Amen. That's thinking right there. That's thinking. We want to pray for our governmental officials. Amen. Come on, even right now, if you just finished typing, you can go ahead and begin praying right where you are because God can hear us right where we are. This is what we're doing tonight, y'all. We're going to just go before God tonight. 
We're going to go before God. Anybody else want to put some, some prayer requests in the, in the chat? Amen. Come on. We, we have enough on here. He says, well, there's two or three gathered in his name. Amen. He would be a God in the midst. Amen. Amen. Listen, while we're praying tonight, amen. Bless your heart. Thank you. Praying for, for the pastor. Amen. Bless you. I just got back in town. Thank God for safe traveling. Amen. And we're here at the church still doing the Lord's will. Amen. Mind, body, and soul. We're going to pray for that. Amen. We're going to pray for Sister Bagley's grandchildren. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Yancey. Good to see you. He came through this week to bless us. Amen. Good to have him. Praying for Sister Robert's church family. Amen. That's Pivot Church. Amen. We're praying for the media team. Sister Bagley, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else have a prayer request? We're praying tonight, Pastor Yancey. Amen. Pastor Yancey, a prayer warrior. Come on, join us in prayer tonight. Any prayer requests? We have two pastors on the line tonight, Pastor Kirk and Pastor Yancey. Amen. I, I feel all right. Amen. We're praying for the Pivot Church family, Sister Greer says. Come on, anybody else have a prayer requests? Come on, we're going to pray tonight. We're going to go to God. We're going to take everything to him. Amen. I want to pray for me. I want to pray for my son and I want to pray for my family. We just buried a, a family member today. Amen. Praying for traveling grace for Brother Bagley tonight. Amen. He is traveling, so we want to be praying for him. Amen. That's for Charles Bagley. All these prayer requests, uh, those of us that's going to be praying tonight, we want to keep them in prayer. Amen. Entire church family. Amen, Sister Pope. Thank you so much. Come on, anybody else? Anybody else? We're getting ready to pray. I'm getting ready to read some scriptures here in just a minute. I'm, I, I, want, I want us to stand on the word of God and believe God together. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Listen, I want you to hear the word tonight. I want you to hear the word. Look what the Bible says. Come on, you can keep typing. I'm going to go back to it in just a second. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Look at what verse 15 says. I'm in 1 John chapter 5. Verse 15 says, And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask him of him. Come on, let me read it one more time. This is the confidence we have. Verse 14, chapter 5, 1 John. Little John in the back before Revelation. He says, this is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if we ask anything according to to his will. Come on, somebody type anything. Somebody put in the chat anything, anything, anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Come on, put in the chat anything. It can be your joy. It can be your peace. It can be restoration. It can be love. It can be forgiveness. It can be cars. It can be a business. It can be education. Come on, anything. Come on, put it in the chat. Anything. It says if we, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask that's that anything again we know that we have what we ask of him look at verse 16 then it says if we see any brother or sister commit a sin that does not lead to death you should pray and God will give them life. Come on, that's something else you might want to pray for. We might want to be praying for life for those who are spiritually dead. Those that are in sin and living in sin, we want, might want to pray that the Lord gives them life. Amen. Come on, I'm going back to the chat. I want to see anybody else have any prayer requests. Come on. Anybody else want to type anything else in there? Come on, put it in the chat. Somebody say anything. Anything, anything, life, 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 anything, anything. He hears us. That's right, Sister Lewis. He hears. Come on, y'all. Act like you're in church. Type talk back to me, if you will. Come on, Patricia Jones. Good to see you. Come on in the room. We praying tonight. Anybody have any prayer requests? Just pray it. Type it in the in the chat. 
Anything. Thank you, Brother Lewis. Anything. Pastor Stevens on the line. Anything. Praying for peace and forgiveness. Amen. Come on, put your prayer requests in here. Health workers, we praying for you. Anything. He hears us. That's right. He hears us. Anything. Anything. I don't care what it is. He says if you ask it, anything. Amen. We praying for Mama Judy. We gonna lift Judy up tonight. Mama Judy, thank you, thank you, thank you. We praying for the, her. Amen. Praying for a change mind. Amen. We see that. We see that. Come on. Look, let me go back to the scripture. I want to read it because he says, if you see a brother or sister commit a sin that does not lead to death, you should pray and God will give them life. I refer to those whose sin does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads to death. I'm not saying that you should pray about that. Amen. Look at what 1 Chronicles 16, 11 says. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Come on, that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to seek his face. Come on, any any other prayer requests we have? Sister Washington Red Washington, we're praying for them. Amen. We're praying for them. Who else we're praying for? Praying for a clean heart. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Come on. God says all you got to do is ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be open for you. Come on, anybody else? We want to seek his face. Come on, make your request known. We want to be praying for perseverance and endurance. Amen. We're praying for that. Perseverance and endurance. Amen. Pastor Kirk, we're covering Pastor Kirk and the Beulah Church family over in LeCount, Louisiana. Amen. That God bless you. We're praying for healing. Amen. Patricia Jones, we're praying for healing. Come on, anybody else? Come on, we're praying. Him. Put it in the chat. Any prayer requests? Come on. I'm going to come back to the chat, but look, let me come on and start praying here. Father, thank you. Thank you for being able to approach your throne. Even with our filthiness, even with our dirtiness, even with our unforgiveness, God, you'll still allow us to come before you. God, you said that we can enter into your courts with praise and we can enter into your gates God we can come before you with humble hearts and bowed heads God we are humbling ourselves because father to be honest we don't deserve to be here God to be honest we don't even deserve to be in your presence but God as we examine ourselves we've come quickly to the reality that we need help with our own sins we need help with our own heart we need help with our own mind and our own ways our own habits and our own own addictions God oh God touch tonight touch us first father we we need to be clean we need to be right Father, we honor you tonight. We lift you tonight because, God, there's nobody like you. God, nobody like you, God. Knowing all of our mess and all of our dirt, Father, you still choose to call us your children. You still choose to accept us. Oh, we bless you tonight. God, you still choose to, to be good to us. You still choose to love us. Oh, we thank you for just being an awesome God. And we exalt you. We lift you. We extol you. Father, you are our forgiver. You're our Father. You're our Lord. You're our Savior. You're our bridge over troubled waters. Oh, Lord, you've been our shelter in times of storm. You've been our doctor in a sick room. You've been our lawyer in a courtroom. You've been our righteous judge, but yet you've been our defender. You've been the one that's saying, yes, they did it, but I died for it. I've forgiven them, and we thank you, God. We thank you for giving us another chance. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to get it right. We thank you for loving us the way you do, looking past our faults and seeing our needs. Oh, God, we bless you tonight. Thank you for just being a good, gracious, and merciful God. You've given us chance after chance after chance. And we've messed it up plenty of time. But God, you've picked us up out of the dirt. You've picked us up out of the mud and brushed us off 
and say try again. And we honor you for that, God. We love you and we embrace your forgiveness. Now, God, we ask that you would give us the opportunity and the strength to forgive ourselves. God, that we would not beat ourselves up because of our mistakes. But God, that we would recognize you've given us a newness of life. That you've given us an opportunity to get it together again. That you've given us an opportunity to have a fresh start. And so help us to forgive ourselves that we would not hold against our own selves every, things that we've done in our past. But God, that you would give us the strength to pick our head up and walk with courage, walk with boldness, walk with audacity, walk with strength, walk with integrity, walk with spiritual vigor, walk with creativity, walk with a new innovation. Help us to put one foot in front of the other and march forward like we are your children. Help us to, to grab hold of the identity that you've called us to the out of the darkness into the marvelous light that you've made us new that you've washed us thoroughly and clean that you washed us whiter than snow by the precious blood of Jesus Christ oh father we come tonight grateful for your for your love grateful for your grace and mercy Father, there's been many prayer requests that have gone forward. Many requests are in the chat. And perhaps there are some people still typing tonight. People that don't want to mention their prayer requests, God. But they still stand in the need of some things that they fail to vocalize and mention. Father, you know what's on our hearts. You know what's on our minds. And maybe tonight, God, somebody is so heavy that tears are running down their face. Even right now, we're praying, God, that you would heal that you would move and God I'm standing in the sanctuary right now but there are people at home people in their cars people at work people who may be in the hospital right now listening and watching tonight. God manifest your presence right where they are. Let them know that they don't stand in this thing by themselves. Let them know God that you have given them the, the, the gift of your presence that everywhere they go you are right there with them. Whatever they go through you are right there with them. As a matter of fact, God, it's you that's bringing us through. It's you that's bringing them through. It's you that's giving them the strength to keep on marching forward. And when they can't see their way, when they don't see find a way out, when they can't see the light at the dark end of the tunnel, God, give them the strength. Give them the faith to call those things that are uh, that are, are not as though they were. God, give them the faith that the size of a mustard seed, that they can speak to the mountain and it be removed. God, give them the faith to walk forward when they don't know which way to go. Give them the faith to trust you when the family is not together, yet they want to see it together. Give them the faith to go ahead and start working on the business even though they don't have what it takes. Give them the faith to go ahead and claim their healing even though the doctor said they're still sick. Give them the faith and the tenacity and the energy and the boldness to get up and start over again. God, we thank you tonight for just giving us the faith because you said without faith it is impossible to please you. Father, we're lifting every prayer request, every person who's standing in the gap for somebody everybody who stands in the need of prayer tonight God we're lifting them before you you know every last one of them Father we thank you for what you're doing and we believe God we're just crazy enough to believe that you're already working that you're already moving that you're already doing the healing that you're already creating the job that you're already moving on the heart of the employer that you're already paying the bills that you already got food coming that you already have the car on the way that you already got the joy being restored, that you're already drying up wet eyes, that you're already easing the pain, God, that you're already creating new paths, that you're already do 
you in the middle of doing what needs to be done. God, we may not see it, we may not feel it, God, but we thank you for what you're already doing. And when it comes to pass, we promise we won't forget you. We promise, God, we won't walk away like you didn't do it. But we're gonna look back and say, glory be to God, because it was nobody but you. Father, we thank you for what you're doing. God, we wanna honor you in every way. Father, we're praying, Lord, that you would just move now. Move in such a way that there is no other way to acknowledge it but to say it's you, God. It's you, God. Somebody's praying for deliverance. God, we're praying tonight, God, that you would move in such a way, God, that 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 mama would get together. God, we're praying for the Washington family. We're praying for the Bagley family. We're praying for Pastor Terry Kirk and Beulah, God. We're praying for, for Linda and Zayden and, and, and Zaniah, God. We're praying for Sister Pope tonight. God, we're praying for Sister Roberts. We're praying for Sister Greer. We're praying, Lord God, that you would move on behalf of, of Pivot Church, Father. We're praying, God, that you would move on behalf of Sister Etta Bagley and her children and her grandchildren. God, we're praying tonight for Kendra Washington and Daryl Washington. We're praying, God, that you would touch the Washington family. We're praying for restoration. We're praying for a clean heart. We're praying for the media team. We're praying for travel grace for Brother Bagley. We're praying, God, that you would move for, on Sister Patricia Johnson. God, we're praying for Pastor Stevens and, and Brother Chuck Lewis, God. We're praying, Lord, that you would bless the health workers who are standing in the gap. We're praying for Mama Judy tonight, Lord God. We're praying for loving life, Father. We're praying for Red and Tawana Washington. Lord, we're praying, God, that Sister Lewis would seek your face. God, I'm standing in the gap with, with Pastor, Pastor Yancey, Lord God. I'm standing in the gap with Brother Curtis Roberts and his, his, his wife, Monica, Father. Lord, we're praying that you cover Sister Samantha Waters tonight. Lord, we're praying for Brother Chris Beecham and his wife, Father. We're praying, Lord, that you would move in such a way that you that, that the people of God will be seen as being spending time with you, Father. Oh, we glorify you tonight. We honor you tonight because there's nobody but you. God, we've searched all over. We've tried some of everything. And we've come to the reality that nobody can do us like you can. Nobody can touch us like you can. Nobody can massage our hearts like you can. Nobody can comfort us like you can. Nobody can give us joy like you can. Nobody can give us that high like you can. Nobody can soothe us and rock us like you can. Nobody can restore us like you can. Oh, we honor you tonight, Father. God, we take our minds back to how people used to call on you long ago until you moved, Father. And tonight, we come travailing tonight. We come honoring you and calling on you, God, because we know no if it's going to be done, it's got to be through you. God, we need we need you to move in Pivot Church. We want to be a light in this community. We want to help save those who are lost. We want to give hope to those who are hopeless. We want to be help give. We want to give joy to those who are sorrowful. We want to give a light to those who are in the darkness. Lord, let Pivot Church be a representation of who you are, Lord God. Everybody that comes through the doors of this church. We're praying God that you would break chains and tear down walls. We praying God that you would break habits, Lord God, and bad addictions, Father. We're praying that you, in this place, that you would restore marriages. God, we're praying Lord, you would fix bad attitudes. That you would elevate mindsets. That you would raise the quality of life. That God, people would be healed in this place. We're praying God that this place would be a mark, a mile stone that your word abides here that your presence abides here God meet every need when people come into this place let your glory fill the place let your presence permeate this place that when people come in this place God and they leave they won't come and leave the same way but they would pivot in their own life whether it's financially or spiritually 
or psychologically, Lord God. If anybody need a job, God, help them to know that you can do it. If they need help with their children, help them know, God, that you can do it. If they need help in school, Lord, help them know that you can do it. Oh, we're leaning on you, Father. We're trusting in you. We're believing in you. We're trusting in you. We're praying for Sister Mother Sherwood tonight. We're praying that you would break every chain, that you would fix broken hearts, that you would remove the hurt. We're praying, God, that we need, because we need you right now. It's, it's not a game for us, Father. We've tried it on our own. We've tried to fix it on our own. We tried to get high out, out of it. We tried to get drunk out of it. We tried to pay our way out of it. We tried to connect our way out of it. And we still found ourselves in it. And we came quickly to the reality, God, that we need you and we can't get along without you. Father, break every chain. Break every chain. We break tonight generational curses that the children would not be the same as the parents. We break every curse tonight that that son is not like his no good daddy and that even the no good daddy can get it together. We're praying tonight for the daughter that she's not like her mama but even the mama can get it together. We're praying tonight that every grandmother that is raising grandchildren that you would give her the strength and the wisdom and the courage to keep on doing what she's been doing. We're praying for the teachers tonight. We're praying for the administrators tonight. We're praying for all of those that's incarcerated. We're praying for the law enforcement. We're praying for government officials. God, touch tonight. Our world needs you. We need you like never before. And God, if you don't move, it won't get done. If you don't fix it, it won't be fixed. Have your way. Have your way tonight. Have your way, God. We're praying for every pastor that's leading in the midst of a pandemic. We're trying to figure it out as we go. But give us the knowledge to walk according to your will and to your way. God, move by your spirit. We're here for you. We want to represent you. Every pastor that's thinking about quitting, give them the strength and tenacity and remind them of the call that's been placed on their life. Every church that's struggling, whether it's financially or spiritually or numerically, God strengthen them even now. Even churches that's getting ready to close their doors. God, give them a new win. Give them a new strength. Renew their sense of call on their life and let them know that they're needed in the community. That they need to get out and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. That they, we serve a risen Savior and he's alive today. Father, we thank you for all the power that you have. We thank you for all the strength that you have and we submit to you your way and your will your way and your will whatever it is that we we need to do however it is we need to represent you we make ourselves available we make ourselves available to you to you oh god not our will but your will be done father we honor you tonight we honor you tonight glory jesus Glory, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for what you're going to do. We have great expectation because you're a big God. We have big dreams, big visions. Bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that's able to heal any sickness, that's able to tear down any walls, that's able to break any chains, that's able to fix any problems, that's able to correct any crooked place, that's able to pick up any bow down head, that's able to fix any broken heart, that's able to mend any crooked relationship. God, thank you for Jesus. Jesus Christ, there is no other name we know that has power like Jesus does. We thank you for what you're going to do, and we look forward to worshiping you. As a matter of fact, we're going to thank you before it's done. We live with expectation. We live with expectancy that you're going to do it any day now, any day now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.
Come on, let's give God some glory. I dare you, type in the chat, it's done. It's done, come on, come on, testify with me. It's done, it's done, come on, tap Type it in the chat. It's done. If you believe it, come on, give me some hearts and say it's done. It's done. If you believe it, come on, say it's done. 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 Come on, type it in the chat for me. It's done. Amen. 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 It's so. It is so. It is so. It's done. Amen. Thank you. I agree. It's done. It's done. If you believe it, it's done. Come on, say it's done. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. As I pray, it's done. It's done in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's done. It's done. Amen. Thank you. It's done. It's done. It's done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's done. It's done. You have to live like it's already done. That's what faith says. Faith doesn't ignore reality, but it accepts reality and says, even though it is this, it still can it can still be that. Even though it is this, it can still be that. Even though it is this, I, I know what it looks like. I know what it feels like. I know what it is. It, 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 you, you, you're not deceived. It is that. But guess what? It can also be this. And that's the kind of God we serve. God is able to take reality and turn it around and give you a whole new reality. I pray tonight has been a blessing to you. I pray tonight that tonight is not the only time you pray about what you've been asking God for. He says, keep on asking, keep on seeking, keep on knocking, and it shall be done. Hey, I believe God with you. I believe God with you. That's a good word. We shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Listen, dear hearts. Here's what else I need you to do. I need you, once you have received the answer to your prayer, once you start seeing things turn around, I, I, need, I need a testimony. I need you to come back and tell God thank you. I need you to come and declare before everybody else what God has done because your testimony can lead to the increasing faith of someone else because when God starts moving in your neighborhood, when God starts doing things for you, they say he's in the neighborhood. Guess what? He's blessing pivot over and over and over again. And that just simply means when you're connected to this, God is getting ready to do something on your behalf. I believe it for you. I believe it with you. And I'm going to continue to pray for what you are in need of. Listen, I love you to life. And I thank you for joining us tonight. And please, please, Please keep praying. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. God loves you. So do I. Let me give you a benediction. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ever ask or think. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Be strong and courageous.